Hello everyone, welcome back to our shop here in Payson, Utah. Things have been a little crazy lately, not just at Utah Trikes, but in the whole world. Um, before we get started though, we want to give a special thanks to our friends at HP Velotechnic for helping us with some of this information and providing us with some neat pictures and drawings. Fat trikes have been getting a lot of attention recently as an option for off-roading. And while we love fat trikes, there are some non-fat tire trikes out there that are just as capable on the trails and with their lighter weight might even be the better choice for you. Today we'll be featuring one such trike, that's right. We're looking at a German engineered full suspension folding off-roading trike, the Scorpion FS26 Enduro. HP Velotechnic is based in Germany, home not just to some of our favorite trikes, but also a few of our favorite gearing components like the pinion gearbox, schlumpf drives, and the roll-off transmission. HP has been around since 1993, initially offering two wheelers until the launch of their first trike more than a decade later. They're now one of the leading recumbent manufacturers in Europe, and their team of specialized mechanics and engineers produce around 2,000 trikes and bikes per year. The first ever HP Scorpion was released in 2005 as a versatile all-around trike with a 20-inch back wheel and rear suspension. A year later in 2006, HP took home the Eurobike award for their folding Scorpion FX. Development of the Scorpion lineup continued and HP eventually had a fleet of award-winning Scorpion models with full suspension, a larger 26-inch rear wheel model that won recumbent of the year by Bent Rider Online, and finally in 2013 they released the Scorpion FS26 Enduro, which claimed another Eurobike award for our German friends at HP Velotechnic for innovative design and outstanding product quality. Despite being an award-winning recumbent, the Enduro wasn't necessarily planned as a serial model in the first place, but rather as a showcase to illustrate the abilities and potential of the Scorpion FS26. The knobby tires, drivetrain components, and multi-layer green-blue powder coat scheme received overwhelming positive feedback, and HP made the decision to introduce it into the recumbent market. The Enduro is essentially the ultimate crossover of precision handling and off-road capability. Ability. It's able to tear down gnarly mountain trails, but also handles like a dream down the pavement. Long story short, we took it up Payson Canyon, which is full of fun trails, and I had Weston tear down this long, muddy, grassy slope a couple of times. Both the trike and Weston were absolutely covered in mud, but it rode super well and handled great. Afterwards, I sent him down the canyon on the pavement to get some mud off the tires because they were just caked. Neither of us is really quite sure how fast he was going, but when I finally caught up to him, after maybe thinking he was dead, the first words out of his mouth were, it feels like I'm driving a Formula One. So there you have it. It rips through muddy trails and feels like a race car on the pavement. There are a handful of features that make the Enduro so capable as both an off-road trike and a potential touring machine. We'll start with gearing. At first glance, most people will see the single crank set up front and think that they have been duped. Don't be fooled, look again. The Enduro's 26 inch rear wheel is built around a Sturmy Archer three speed hub and is paired with a nine speed cassette. The hub is low maintenance and can be shifted while stopped or coasting, making it a great option for riding where there's lots of flying debris or when you find yourself having to tackle a lot of hills. The Enduro also boasts full suspension. 
we went out and got a ton of shots to show off the movement of both the front and rear suspension. Now, obviously seeing how the suspension works isn't quite the same as feeling how the suspension works, but hopefully you get a better idea. In the rear, you'll find a DNM DV22 air shock that does a good job absorbing bumps and potholes in the road. The whole chassis is designed using HP's no squat suspension design and transmits all of your drive energy to the road without any loss of power. It's incredibly impressive construction on HP's part. On the front end, you'll find HP Velotechnics independent wheel suspension with McPherson style struts and stabilizer system. The suspension is completely encapsulated within the frame's tube, which means it's well protected and needs very little maintenance. The suspension helps when you're riding mountain trails and it all but eliminates bumps in the pavement, which means riding it on the road, even with those knobby smart Sam tires is an absolute breeze. It's a dream come true a comfortable dream come true. As if the 27-speed drivetrain and impressive full suspension wasn't enough, the Enduro also features HP's robust folding hinge that locks into place automatically. Its folding capability makes it more compact for storage or easier to transport and take with you on the road. Lewis is gonna run you through that process. Hey guys, Lewis here, and I will show you how to fold this bad boy. So, first things first, pull the seat off with the three quick releases. That lifts off like that. Set it in a safe spot. Now, fold down your left handlebar. There's a quick release here. Open that up. Go ahead and lay the bar down. Once you do that, this quick release here, pop it open. Then on this other side, you'll see this guy. Go ahead and open that up and give this a smack. Now, it folds up like that. And final touch, pro tip, fold your bar back up. It takes up less space. Now you'll notice right here, a Velcro strap and then a piece of Velcro down here. So if you put two and two together, Boom, keeps it from coming apart. That is how you fold the HP Velotechnic Scorpion FS26 Enduro. If you want it to take up a little less space, you can always take the wheels off. The stock Enduro also features the popular and powerful Avid BB7 disc brakes, Avid speed dial 7 levers, chain tubes, and an adjustable seat. You can configure your Enduro with the hard shell body link seat or HP's Ergo mesh seat that's a bit more breathable. The hard shell seat will aid in transferring power to the rear wheel, but the mesh seat will keep you cooler on long rides. So there's a bit of a trade off there. When it comes to adjustability, both the seat and handlebars are adjustable to an extent. Lewis is gonna give you a little tutorial on how to do that and go over some more specifics. You'll see there's three quick releases on the underside, one on the back, one in the middle, and then one up by the front. So, this back one has a slit, and so does the front one, so you can angle it. And the center one is just the main pivot, so that one does not have a, a long slit, it just has a long enough slit for the quick release to grab. So, you can just essentially tilt it back and forth and find which position it's the best for you. Now, we'll just get that out of the way. And I'm gonna take a closer look at the HP Velotechnic body link seat. So we'll just go ahead and pull these covers off. These are just held on by Velcro. So you'll see there's three holes back here for the connection right here because you it's two pieces, pretty nifty. Um, 
And then back here, there's a really long slit. So the top piece, you can actually slide up if you're taller, slide down if you're shorter, and it has a lot of adjustability in that. Uh, so the body length seat actually doesn't have quite as much angle adjustability, but you do adjust it the same way. So really, just whatever seat you want, whichever one looks more comfortable, whichever one cups you in the right way when you sit in it. And this one, as you see here, there's this hole. That's a flag mount integrated into the top of the seat on the mesh seat. And you also have a nice little pocket. You can, you know, put stuff in there, maybe a sandwich. It might get squished, but. So if you did not opt to get the second quick release for your handlebars, you will need a five millimeter Allen to adjust both of them. But on the left side, they all come with a quick release and that's because in order to fold it, you need to fold the handlebar down. But you open the quick release, you can pull it out, push it in, angle it forward, angle it back. It helps if you wiggle it forward and back to get it to slide in and out. And as you see, they have markings so you can get both bars set up the same. Now on the other side, five millimeter, essentially the same, but instead of a quick release, you have two bolts that pinch the handlebar tight. Once you get those loosened, handlebar moves forward, back, side to side, front, back, side to side. That's the song, right? So once you find the proper position for you, whatever feels most comfortable, go ahead and tighten those back up and go out and ride. If you're interested in trail riding and touring, the Enduro can easily be modified for longer rides on the road. Swap out the tires for something a little more slick, choose the ergo mesh seat, throw on some pannier racks, and you're ready to ride for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. Like other trikes, there are lots of accessories you can add to the Enduro and lots of upgrade options available. We have things like water bottle cages, flags, and lights that you can see at utahtrikes.com. If 27 speeds doesn't seem like it's going to do the trick for you, there are several other options to consider that will widen up your gear range. Our first suggestion would be swapping out that front crank set for something like the pinion drive to achieve the widest possible gear range. If that's not in the budget though, which we understand, you could go with the Schlumpf mountain drive or a high speed drive. If you're doing a lot of off-roading and don't want to worry about a derailleur on the rear end, you could go totally internal by opting for the 14 speed roll off hub in the back. As with all the trikes we offer, the Enduro can be turned into an electric trike. It's available with the factory installed 250 watt Shimano E-Steps motor, or we can install the Fang Mid-Drive or our UT Custom 1000 watt hub motor here at the shop. We have a video featuring an ice full fat with the E-Steps motor installed. Just click the link at the top of the screen, or if you're interested, we have a video that goes over both the Bafang and the hub motor that we installed on a pair of ice adventures. Again, link is at the top of the screen or down in the description, either one. The one at the top of the screen is probably easier to access, so right there. Looking for a versatile, sporty, recumbent trike that can handle just about anything you throw at it, the Scorpion FS26 Enduro is definitely one you should seriously consider. It's full suspension, no squat design, folding capability, and wide usable gear range is another testament to HP Velotechnic's ability to innovate, design, and produce award-winning recumbent trikes. 
Stick around a minute longer for some more riding shots and a fun story about the time I thought Weston maybe died while we were filming. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. It's a pleasure every time. As always, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Thanks everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Enjoy these riding shots. They were a blast to get. I love flying the drone. It's like one of my favorite things. So anyway, here's the riding shots. be all right okay cool. good yeah. all right do some different okay good grab me another pose good I go out in public I want to look like a trike mechanic mm -hmm. like that one two three click I think it worked I'm just kidding I've been filming you this whole time <laughs> yeah did you do something different with your beard yeah I got a trim yesterday yeah, I was thinking like getting a fade with like flames coming up, but maybe save that for later. I'm having a midlife crisis. What, 23 years old? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye.